Hey guys, welcome back to part 2 of my let's play of Beast Boxing Turbo. I kind of got a bit carried away in part 1 and I lost track of time. I really didn't realise that the video was over half an hour long until I was actually editing it together. So um, I'll try to keep them shorter this time around 10, maybe 15 minutes tops and I'll do only one or two fights per video and maybe one tutorial. So, um, unless of course you don't mind the longer videos, in which case I'll just do one league at a time per video, just to kind of get through it. So, um, you've probably noticed by now that my character here looks much different than she did last time. That's because I actually spent a lot of time playing exhibition matches against Steve the Skeleton so that I could get Kine to buy better gear. I bought the Beast Paw to get me 15% extra Kain per fight, and with the Beast Paw I was getting 231 Kain per fight instead of just 201 that I would have got without it. Um, I had to fight Steve the Skeleton about, I think, 20 or so times just to have enough money to buy the monster gear set, and because of the few items in the monster gear set that give you negative speed, I fought him some more just so that I could upgrade my speed stat to make up for the loss in speed. But um while I was up while I was upgrading the speed stat, I kinda got a bit carried away and kept fighting him and increased my other stats too. Because in the last video when I ended it, these skills they were only around level one, two, some of them were at level three I think. So <laughs> I really did get carried away and I started upgrading them all to level 20 and level 15. So um, that took me a lot of time, that took me a few hours actually. And I'll show you now in the info. 71 fights, 71 wins, 0 losses. So minus the 3 fights from the story mode, I actually fought Steve the Skeleton 68 times just to buy the monster gear and improve my stats to level 15 and 20. But um, So I'm thinking right now that I'm probably horribly over leveled and over equipped, overpowered for where I am in the story because I only bought one item, I think one or two items from the initiates garb set. I bought one or two items from the coach's attire and I completely skipped all of the other items here and I jumped straight into the monster gear. So you know, I, I really skipped two tiers of equipment to jump into the third tier of equipment. So equipment wise, I think I'm, I've got more powerful stuff than I should have. And stat wise, I think maybe I should only be around level five or so per stat here at the moment. So h horribly over leveled in my opinion, but we'll soon find out. So um, that's enough blabbing for now. We may as well just do this fight. First fight in the Pro League. Well, here we are. The first f Pro League bout. I hope this costume holds out. Wahahaha. Is this the challenger? What a joke. I can tell from your patchy skin that you're a poor slumdog. Go buy some soap. Snort. Nobody likes Ananome? Ananome? Aninomi? Or whatever. So don't sweat it. He's an aggressive infighter, so keep your distance and poke him with jabs. Okay. So we just gotta keep jabbing him. But um, one thing I did notice um, about... Well, it's in the exhibitions. One thing I did notice is that your right-handed jabs are stronger than your left-handed jabs. The right hand originally was doing one damage more than my left-handed jabs and at the moment because I've upgraded my stats my right hand oh uh, sorry my right-handed jabs are doing two damage more than my left-handed jabs now I don't know if that's going to keep increasing and the right hand is going to be much stronger than the left-handed attacks or if eventually they're going to be about the same in strength but from what it looks like right-handed attacks are much stronger than your left-handed attacks 
I'm really grateful now I did kind of upgrade my health and defense and such a lot because even with my stats the way they are now, I'm still taking quite a bit of damage from this guy. Maybe it's just that I'm not blocking, I'm not really dodging, so I'm kind of playing really stupidly. So, my attacks are doing a lot of damage. <laughs> you, this is an outrage. Your smell distracted me. You spend too much time in the slums with the humans. I want a rematch. I don't know what you're talking about, but if it's a rematch you want, I'll be happy to oblige. As long as the crowd wants one. Good fight, kid, and wait to play to the crowd. Everyone loves an underdog. <laughs> that is some horrendous accuracy. So yeah, judging by that fight, apart from my stupidity of not really blocking or dodging his attacks, I, I think I am kind of overpowered here, so that fight went much quicker than I thought it would. So I'll do this tutorial and maybe the next fight for this video. Okay, we're into the advanced tutorials now. Streaks. Your streak meter in the lower left fills when you land punches and empties out if you get hit or run out of power. When it fills up, your energy will be maxed out and you'll get faster and you'll do max damage with every punch. This is the perfect time to do serious damage. This is a big reward for technical boxers. Fill the streak meter. Oh, it's, just, it's just basically teaching me something I pretty much figured out on my own. Getting those hit, getting those hit streaks is an important part of doing damage, and it can turn a match around. So yeah, pretty much taught me something I already knew. Um, I do have enough to purchase one of the um, the skull cracker. See, the turtle gear and the skull cracker, I think, are equal sets. The turtle gear is primarily for defense and health, whereas the skull cracker is all power and strength attack based stuff. So I do have enough to buy the skeletal pauldrons, which compared to mine will give me an extra 2% attack. I gain back 1% defense, but I lose 3% health. So I'm not going to get that for the moment. I'm just going to do the next fight. Now, a technique I did figure out during the exhibitions against Steve, which I'll explain in fight. So you're the one I'm to fight. Ananom's unholiness led to his loss. Your streak of look ends here. Try to counterpunch my lightning jabs. Her Vela's lightning jabs are called that for their speed. So keep your guard up and counter when he goes for harder attacks. Okay. So I'm, like I was saying, about the... um technique I figured out. Instead of just using all right punches or all left punches like this, if you alternate between left and right jabs, uh, if I can ever get an attack in, you can actually fill up your meter before you run out of stamina. Okay, this guy is good. As long as all your attacks hit, you can fill up your guard meter if, uh, God damn it, this guy is good. So his special is a headbutt too. Whoa, this guy is really, really good. I guess I should stop doing just jabs. Maybe I should actually start blocking now. Lost the first round. Now I need to keep an eye. It gets difficult now, like I was saying in the first video. Keeping your eye on your stamina bar, on their guard meter, on your... Oh, you, you can't cross this guy. Every time I try to cross this guy, he's hitting me with a jab, so... He keeps breaking my meter. I, I don't wanna know what the um, title fight is gonna be like next. It's gonna get tricky now trying to restore stamina against this guy. See, every time I cross him. This 
so you can't waste your punches against this guy because of his speed. Ah, there he goes again. If you run out of stamina against this guy, it's going to get really... Not that it gets really tricky, it is really tricky. Oh, he's almost dead, but... You know, I'm kind of grateful now that I did increase my stats and gear as much as I did. Because this guy is tough. And there he is again. I keep trying to cross him, but it's not working. Oh, finally. That was probably the hardest fight I've had so far. Great fight, kid. I knew you could do it. Your next match will be the pro title bout. It's not too late to turn back. It's very dangerous. Pardon my interruption, Char. Your fighting spirit has taught me to never judge a beast by her patchy skin. Ah, uh, thanks, Harvellus. Coach, if I stop now, I might never get this chance again. Let's go back to the gym and prepare. 65% accuracy. My accuracy is horrendous these last two fights. Okay, jabs and cross. Jabs and cross. I was about to say jabs and crotch there. Jabs and cross tutorial. So um, I think I'll leave this video here for now. I'll get some more practice in. It looks like I'm going to need to do some more grinding and get better gear because this is getting really tough. Even with the amount of farming i done an exhibition it seems like the difficulty is ramping up a lot from here on so i may need to do more exhibitions against harvelis and anon for more money to improve my stats even more so um that's all for this video thanks for watching